last time on Kerbal Space Program. Oh no, no no, Valentina! What are you doing? Wrong way! Uh oh, that's the wrong way! You don't want that part facing the fire! No, don't die! So that wasn't good. On the other hand, the Kerbal way is to just, you know, replace them with the next guy in line and get moving. Alright, Jeb, you ready to go? He's happy, look at that. He's like, woo, the last one blew up, and this is pretty much the same rocket, but I got a good feeling about it anyway. Yeah, that that's that's the spirit, Jeb. So what I did is I removed removed some of the science things from here. So hopefully the thing falling back down is only the capsule and it'll not want to flip around. But but if if it does, Jebediah is a a willing willing sacrifice to help get us into space. Okay, three, two, one, go! Woo, he's just as excited, it looks like. Whoa, we're going in space. We're not in space yet, calm down. Go, man, go! Go, go, go! Faster, faster, faster! Okay, now Jebediah's back in space. Hopefully, hopefully it won't go as badly this time. Okay, and three, two, one, fire! Start our orbital burn. Let's get some horizontal speed going. Maybe we can get this guy, get this guy into orbit. You know, around the planet. Let's keep a look at our fuel. Uh, we we are not making an orbit. We're we're not gonna do that. I can already tell. I think I'm just gonna use some of the fuel to slow him down. But he made it. He made it a spaceman. Jebediah, you made it. And maybe he might be the first one to not die a fiery death. We we can only hope, right? Okay, so here we go. We're re-entering. We're re-entering without our heat shield showing because there's still all these gas tanks here. Okay, ready? Okay, three, two, one, burn! Woo, slow down! Out of fuel. Eject! Goodbye, engine! Now you better hope that you don't flip over backwards because that did not end well for the last guy. You feeling the heat? You feeling the heat, Jeb? He's feeling the heat. Look at those cool effects. Looks like we barely even used the heat shield. Okay, better better get those parachutes. Slow me down! Splash! He made it! Why don't you get out? Take a look. Take a swim. Oh, you're dipping! You're dipping! Ah, let go! We shall use the funds we earned to hold a memorial service for Valentina. Or we'll just build more rockets. It's what she would have wanted. Ooh, look, new, new contracts. Ferry a VIP to her destination. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What? Stay tie, Kerbin. Has chartered a tour to see the sights right here on Kerbin. Keep her alive and show her a good time. Can't, I'm not sure I can do that part. The keep her alive. Test rot liquid fuel engine landed at Kerbin. Test the hammer mm -hmm. landed at Kerbin. So this is apparently where the grindy kind of contracts start. I probably won't show too many of those. I'll have to do some of them, obviously, but I won't. I I won't film those. I'm I'm just gonna film like these kind of things: the orbit and the speed record, because those are exciting and people might die. But you know, they'll be they'll be awesome. Yeah, <laughs> people might die. Uh huh. Yeah. All right. He's he's up for it. Okay, we can unlock. We can unlock one more. One more of this tier. What, what, what do we want? Ooh, a stay Putnik. This is like a probe, a probe core, so we don't have to launch a, a Kerbal into space. And this way, if it blows up, the core blows up, and we don't kill another Valentina. Ooh, and more science. A thermometer. That could be useful. Batteries, also useful. Or let, let's go with the science and the not killing people probe thing. Behold! The Kerbal Sciencer! The science are one. I should be saving the spaceship, shouldn't I? So this thing uses that stay putnik. Nobody's in it. It has some batteries to keep the thing running, some science gathering stuff to get science, and a little engine. And then two antennas because it makes it look like an alien's head, and I think that's awesome. So with this thing, I'm going to just fly around, land, do science, recover, fly around, land in another building, do science, and hopefully unlock some much needed parts. Oh, there's no SAS. This won't be good. I gotta fly it manually. Before we go, temperature. Launch pad temperature. Okay. Okay, that, now we go. Whoa, this has more power than it needs. 
now that we're hovering, good temperature. Let's go over this way. Okay, coming down, coming down for the crawler way. Coming down. Don't don't go too fast or too slow. Try to stop, stop horizontal velocity. And touchdown! Cut engines! Woo! We did it! We made it to the crawler way. Okay, now for science. There, just that simple little thing got me 12 science, and I got 98% of the value back. So I didn't really spend any funds, but I, I, I can unlock something now. I can unlock. What can I unlock? More engines? I have an idea. I'm going to unlock this one. Get me a jet engine. And I'm going to turn this into a, a, a jet probe, not a rocket probe. Behold, the Kerbal Sciencer version 2.0. It is now a jet sciencer. Jets, this little jet engine. Air goes in here. I, I only have liquid fuel because the jet gets all of its oxidizer from oxygen in the air. And I strapped a couple of parachutes on just in case I screw up the landing. So here here we go. Uh, you, you don't go 3 to one launch if it's a jet, right? Oh, but a jet takes longer to throttle up. I didn't think of that. I did not think of that. It won't be as responsive. But it is cool sounding. Sounds kind of like a vacuum, right? Aliens attacking! Uh oh, aliens are crashing. Oh, it's got helipads. I don't think I can land on those, they're tiny. Tiny, tiny. Uh oh, definitely shouldn't crash into the building. No, 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 we're falling, we're falling, we're falling! Oh, it blew up! Behold, the Sciencer 3.0! Now with rocket power again, because I can't fly the other way. Okay, 3, 2, 1, go! What? Ah, I didn't put any fuel in it. Behold, the Science Earth 3.1! Now with fuel! That'll help, right? Here we go! And... success! Alright, screw this grinding for science. I'm gonna try to orbit and set this speed record. We're, we're, we're gonna do that, and then... And then I'll end this end this video because I've been recording for a long time and I have a lot of editing to do a lot of editing also real world work to actually achieve orbit I need a I need a bigger a bigger vessel so I'm gonna upgrade this Ooh, I can go from 18 tons which really isn't enough for me anyway to 140 tons so let's upgrade behold the largest rocket yet on this fancy new launch pad and look Jebediah has given us a thumbs up, and we're, we're going to go to space, hopefully. Hopefully we'll go to space. Well, we'll go to space, I think. Okay, well, we'll, we'll, we'll give it a shot. We'll find out later. Three, two, one, go! Look at it go! Right, we're about to burn out. About to burn out of our, our original solid rocket boosters. And surprise! Another solid rocket booster! Oh, they just rammed into each other and blew up. Oh well, we don't need you anymore. You're very slowly accelerating. Probably should have given this thing more thrust. Also, I can't steer. I'm trying really hard to steer. We're out! We're out! Goodbye, solid rocket booster! We, we're, we're gonna go to space with just solid rocket boosters. We'll have all of our liquid fuel to, to get us into orbit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait until we get up to about here, or close to here, and start shooting off in this direction to try to build orbital velocity. So that's what you do. You have to get up to your altitude and then build orbital velocity. So it's like a launch burn and then an orbital entry burn, I think is what they're called. There's also other better, more efficient ways of doing this, but since I'm doing it, we're not going to do the better ways, because I, I can't do the better ways. Basically also, you want to launch, or you want to go kind of 90 degrees. So this is your nav ball. N is obviously north. So if this is where the front of your rocket's pointing, and it's pointing at N, you're pointing north. We want to point at 90. Because 90 is east. You always want to launch east. Well, you can launch however you want, but if you launch 90, you launch east, the rotation of the planet gives you a little bit more of a speed boost so it can help you out. And we're not trying to do any specific orbit. We're trying to, like, get into an orbit. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go east. Right, just about, and I'll launch now! Oh, why aren't we going? Why aren't we... Oh, it didn't, <laughs> didn't activate the engines. Alright, that's that's my fault. 
and go. So there's a difference. This thing here in the middle is pointing at where the front of your rocket's pointing. This little green circle is pointing at the direction your ship is actually traveling. So I want to keep that direction around, you know, around the horizon line, and you want to burn your engines in the direction of your velocity for the most, most efficiency. Most efficiency. Come on, faster, 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 faster. Let's go faster. Name that reference. Multiple references. Let's go faster. We made it. We made it to orbit. Look at that. App high of 220 meter or kilometers. Low of 70 and a half kilometers. That is officially in orbit. So periapsis, the lowest point on your orbit. Apoapsis, the highest point away from the planet's surface of your orbit. If both of those are above 70,000 meters, you have achieved orbit. We have achieved orbit! We have achieved orbit, what do you think? What do you think, Jebediah? You happy? You happy about that? You better be happy. You better be happy now, because you might not be smiling after re-entry. Here we go, we're coming up on our first sunrise in space! First sunrise in space! Woo! Get excited! There it is! Woohoo! You did it, Jebediah! Alright, so instead of getting back to the, the space center, I'm just going to land any old place so Jebediah doesn't die at some point. So we will point to see this. This circle has an X in it. That means retrograde. So now the front of the rocket is pointing towards the way that we're not going. It's pointing the opposite. Pointing backwards. So I'm going to fire that, slow our velocity down a little bit, and then this over here, the periapsis will drop into the atmosphere, and then we'll use the atmosphere to slow us down more. So, I'll throttle up. You can throttle up from this this part of the map anyway. I suggest you do. Get the periapsis nice and low. And we we will we will now ride it out all the way around around the planet and slowly fall back to Kerbin. Alright, music stopped. We're re entering the atmosphere. Oh, we're going really fast. Twenty three hundred meters a second. Twenty three hundred meters a second. Almost 2,400 meters a second. This is going to be a bumpy ride, Jeb. Bumpy ride. Re-entry. Re-entry can't be fun. Ooh, look, there's a huge mountain over there. A big old mountain. That's pretty cool. I wonder if there's any Easter eggs on top of it. They're like Easter eggs hidden all over. And I've found none of them. Ever. <laughs> Not a one. Not a one have I ever found. We should probably search those out, maybe. Maybe. This process takes a while. You don't want to just plummet straight down, because you'll you'll burn up and or smash into the ground, and neither of those is a good thing. Let's give him a ride. Ooh, and look, look at the shadows. It's like the light is actually hitting him. Woo, he's flailing all over the place. Hopefully he doesn't get, get space sick. Moonrise. Behold the moonrise. Things are getting hot. Start starting to heat up in here. Starting to heat up. I'm gonna I'm gonna burn the rockets. Slow us down, rockets! Oh, rockets out of fuel. Eject the rockets. Goodbye, engines. Into the distance. All right, buddy. You just gotta ride it out now. Hopefully your your heat shield holds up. Woo! We're going down. Look at that. Oh, look at the heat shield. That heat shield is is hot. It's on fire. Looks like. If, if all goes to plan, we'll crash into the side of this mountain ridge. So, so that's fun. We're actually coming in successfully here. Huzzah! We did it! Jebediah, you achieved orbit, and then you re-entered, and no one died. Alright, parachutes! Whoa! Violent, violent slowing of the parachutes. And thus lands our hero, first Kerbal into orbit. Huzzah! We made it! We made it! And look, because he made it into orbit and came back alive, he gains a point! He gains a point. Oh, now we can now we can hold prograde and retrograde, which is good. Stability assist, that's good. So the pilot has gained more, more SAS functions. I think the engineer, when he gains points, he can fix more stuff if it breaks. And the scientist gets more science bonus if he gains a point. So that's cool. All right, so I'm gonna end it there. I think it was a very successful, successful day. We made it to space, we made it to orbit, we landed, 
Only only one person died in a fiery explosion, and that's for a Kerbal Space Program. That's that's pretty good. Only one only one fiery death. So we'll we'll call it a success. Yay! We got three hundred fifty thousand funds, and we will get started on these other cool things next time. I guess maybe 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 we'll go to the moon. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye.